Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Super Mario Galaxy 2. I almost said Super Mario Galaxy 3. That does not exist yet. Hopefully it does. Eventually someday. I went back to Starshine and was able to gather the lost lingering comet metal. Turns out it was in some tunnel by some slime ears. So I went back and got it. You're welcome. Hopefully that brightens your day. So many of you up at night late. Ah, oh, D-Mike didn't get that comet medal. How am I gonna sleep? I will soothe you with the nicest star of all, the cosmic clones in the Chomp Works. This star actually kinda sucks. So, you're welcome. This one is pretty brutal. If you remember previously in the Chomp Works, we had to create a bit of a path to roll the golden chomp around. This time around, you know we're doing the same thing. And we're gonna do it with Luigi, apparently. So just to add a little bit of additional misery, why not? Okay, great. What could possibly go wrong? Let's start out by hitting this switch. I don't know when the cosmic clones kick in. Okay, right now. Those are Cosmic Marios, though. They're not Cosmic Luigi's. They're a little slighted. So the same rules apply. Cosmic clones will follow you. Oops. So you're gonna want to make sure that at some point... Oh boy. <laughs> this is about to be a too bad moment. You're gonna want to try to clear those shielded... Oops. Great. Starting off on the right foot. Wasn't expecting things to get so spicy. I don't even know why they put that there. It's kind of pointless. But, what I was trying to say is maybe before we hit that switch... Oh, the cosmic clones are already activated. We want to try to knock these shielded Octumba dudes. Oh my goodness, get off here. We want to knock them off the path. They're just going to cause trouble for us. As we try to nab... Oh my God. Come on. Get off there! Go to your fiery death. Okay. So now that we have the golden chomp, we can... Oops. This is going to be horrible. Oh boy. Yeah. This is one of the times where I feel like them giving you a power shroom would be fair. This is <laughs> kind of uh, ridiculous. And it should crush them. It doesn't, but it should. Okay. So I think the big thing, really, to help yourself out the most is just to kind of get ahead of the, uh, the Cosmic Clones. That should hopefully give you the best chance of success. Okay, hurry. Oh, not yet. No! <laughs> it's too bad and too early. Okay. Oh, isn't this fun? Isn't this great, everybody? Don't you love it? All right, so unfortunately, same deal. Clear the the dudes. This actually is probably more easily done this way. Whew, that was close. Ugh. I hate when I get hit by things that I don't want to get hit by. I know that I'm the only one who feels that way. What is nice is that the golden chain chop coming out of the fiery abyss is uh, consistent and that it just keeps on coming just like me oh boy okay so yeah once again staying ahead of the curve a little bit oh yeah that's probably worth a reset it's okay we're only four minutes in on attempt three four I don't even know anymore I'm losing track of time having so much fun with this specific level. Yes. It is worth it at points to potentially just take a moment. Take a moment. There we go. <laughs> God, I got bonked onto that platform. Doing this is always worth it, but take a moment and, uh, you know, maybe do like a little loop or a little spinorama. Slows down the cosmic clones. Gives you a second to kind of think about what you're doing. Oof. Or not. So we're gonna grab these while we're at it. 
<laughs> yeah, this is oh my gosh. Well, <laughs> this is looking like it's headed for Resetville, huh? It <laughs> oh boy, technology has come too far. Yeah, I think I definitely think that a uh, a live stream would have been an excellent addition to this level. For those of you watching at home, you could probably just give me a get good. The mic and you'd be right. I think I just need to not get hit by these guys. Taking the early damage, not ideal. There we go. Ooh, no, no. <laughs> Okay. Just gonna stay, stay to the outside. Oh no, I wasn't. That. <sighs> There's no real way to like replenish your health once you get to this point, unless you uh, think about it in advance, which I probably am not going to. Ah, it's hard to tell where they're gonna go as well. All right, please stay away from me. I feel like this is not a coin of his. That'd be beautiful. Nope. <laughs> Why would it be? Why would the game do that? Okay. I'm gonna do a quick little lap here. Oh. That is too bad. Man, this is, whew. This is brutal. They don't put any coins in the middle besides just the one. And I feel like these guys probably don't turn into anything useful. I guess I just need to avoid the coins. Well, the premature burning is always good, you know, because we're not struggling. Yeah, I need to just avoid the coins early. Use those when I'm under duress. If I can. <laughs> or just do that. That's fine. I mean, for the nicest star in the game, it's gotta be a good one, right? Don't I know it? That seems cheap to me. You can't... It didn't turn into money. So... Like the other... Oh my goodness. I am just goofing it up right now. I mean, at the end of the day, you gotta still do it, so... Ugh. This is tough. Legitimately... One of the most difficult things I've done in my entire life. It's just hard to tell, at a certain point, where they're going. It's hard to know. Alright. So if y'all could go over there. Yes. Ugh, that's not enough. How much space do you need, Chain Chomp? You're being great. Alright. Nope, that's not gonna do it. Oh... We're getting close to cutaway territory here. I usually I actually haven't done that once yet in this Let's Play, but we're getting there. We're getting pretty close. Getting close to rage territory. I'm so angry playing this children's game. It's happening. Yeah, there's no real way to get them out of there. Taking damage from these guys is not ideal. I don't think the Chain Chop crushes them. It'd probably help if I wouldn't run into it. Alright. It'd be good if it if it would crush them, but I don't I don't see that happening. That would be too convenient. Alright. Okay. Huh? Wait. I think we're onto something. Use the new technique. That's a star. It only took me almost 10 minutes. Oh, there's so many star bits. Look at the reward. The glorious reward. We'll take it for the nicest star in the game. Yaha, indeed, Luigi. That is correct. Okay. Oof. This one got me a little hot under the collar. But we're feeling pretty nice. Oh yeah, there it is. Galaxy complete. 
still don't know what that means. Okay, we almost have a thousand coins, which I don't think amounts to anything. Okay. Uh-huh, great. So, I'm gonna do the two comets here, and then I'm gonna do two more of the world five stars, just to balance it out, to be fair. I'm all about fairness. We need to finish up Starshine. All right, so what kind of prankster comet do we have today? It is the purple, oh. This is my favorite. Is this one timed? Or is this just about getting purple coins? Do I have to use the power up? Oh boy. No, it is timed. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> Hopefully there's more than 100. This is about to be miserable. Oh, I'm missing all these. <laughs> okay, I guess this isn't too bad. If there's not more than 100, I will be very sad. At least this star seems to be pretty, like, on the easier side of things. I'm missing everything. Okay, okay yeah, that one was pretty easy. That was done in like less than a minute. We'll just collect some extra for good measure. And we'll, <laughs> we'll dash right past it. Okay. Hey, it, oh my god. Any day now. Oof. Good thing collecting the star ends when you get the final purple coin you need. Because that was horrible. Nice, even 70 stars. It's enough stars to unlock the Bowser fight in Mario 64? 64! Alright, here we go. Gonna zoom out. Let's go ahead and jump into World 5. We've already done a Space Storm, so we'll skip that. Let's see what we've got. These look kind of... This looks kind of spooky. We'll do something spooky. The Boo Moon! I'd like to have a nice tall glass of Boo Moon. Okay, what do we have in store? The Silver Stars pop up. Don't you love it? You better. Or Ooh, this one. Ooh. I remember this one not being... I don't know if it's this one particularly, or if it's the... Maybe the prankster comment of this one. And I'm gonna say that I do think that the... Comet Metal is in the first star of every galaxy, potentially. So I'm gonna obviously get it. I don't know where they are in advance. I think I just saw it actually in this one though. This one I think is a uh, auto scroller, which is great. This is not the worst one in the game though. I remember there being some auto scrollers later on that are pretty brutal and not awesome. Here's something jingle jangling though. What could it be? Potentially the Medal of Comets? Not yet. We have this. Whatever this is. What is this? Ooh, music notes. Okay. How does that expect you to get this? Oh, no, stop. Quit. Wait. Wait for me. Okay. It's fine. I didn't even want it anyway. How are you supposed to see what you're doing? Uh, okay. What is happening right now? Uh, is the comet metal around? Hello? I can hear something, unless that's just the stars that I'm hearing from far away. From over yonder. Okay. More star bits? Okay. Oh, there it is. Hello, comet metal. Hello. That was a pretty easy one. I get a feeling that that level will have some weird gimmicks to it later on in future stars. I remember it being a little tricky. Ooh, that was a pro move. You're welcome. Speed running strats, baby. Collect multiple star chips at the same time. Ooh, how do I... Why can I not... What is happening? Oh, I thought I was dead. That looked like imminent doom right there. Okay, so let's find a way to... 
activate this pop-up book. There's the first star. Need to get a couple more. There's another one. Looks like this is the speech. Okay. Those dudes aren't really that threatening, unfortunately, for them. Oh, no. Well, boo to that. Come on, fellas. Oh, it, oh, it's on a timer. You just have to hit it once. Gotcha. Okay. I'm, I'm feeling your spookiness. I get you. All right. And if I could just long jump to you, knowing me, the star is going to be unattainable because it's going to be somewhere in the sky. Nope. The game heard me talking smack. All right. Come on, fellas. Enjoy. It's a snack for all of us. Just like me. And you viewers, you're all snacks, too. S-N-A-C-C. -C. That's how I like it. Okay. And if you like snacks, comment, subscribe, like the video, whatever. Okay, here we go. Another life for the life god. Okay. This will be a fun one to find the thumbnail for. Alright, here we go. You know what? I'm gonna hold I'm holding true to my word. We're slip sanding. I'm not I'm not gonna go back. I was almost impulsive and was like we gotta finish beat block, but I'm not doing it. I'm doing Squizzard's Sandy Sinkhole. You don't ever want to get sand in your sinkhole, viewers. Trust me. It's a weird floating pyramid. Own space. Pyramids are cool. I feel like it's it's an interesting thing that pyramids are a form of geometry in like basically every culture. There's some sort of a pyramid that people were making potentially like temples out of or like places to store stuff stuff to mystify convince everybody that there's spooky aliens around they thought of it all I'm so smart I think it's crazy though there is a um, there is a in Mexico there's a temple called Chichen Itza I probably said that really horribly I apologize for my uh, Spanish I don't speak Mexican, so I'm sorry. And that temple is in the middle of Mexico, and it is amazing. It's huge. You can't go up inside of it anymore, unfortunately. I think unless you do like a special bribe, the officials tour. But um, it is cool, and at certain times of year, like the beginning of spring, I think, and maybe the beginning of fall, the sun is at a certain point in the sky that when it hits the temple, it creates kind of like this neat stream of light that runs down the side. It kind of looks like, it's supposed to um, look like a snake because the sides of the temple have, um, they're like designed like in stone with snakes. So it's kind of the motif they were going for. It's really cool. And that stuff just makes me excited because it just shows that, like, even in ancient societies that... Oh! <laughs> Who would have thought that was going to happen? That even in ancient societies that they were super advanced and... Oh, that's dumb. You put me all the way back here. Yeah, they could come up with stuff like that to be able to, like, honor... The gods of the spring and the fall or whatever they had going on. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know as much about Mesoamerican culture and religion as I'd like to. It's definitely fascinating, and I would encourage everybody, if you're able to, and safely capable, to travel to places like that and check it out. It's neat. Visiting Mayan ruins is something I never thought I would enjoy that much, but I really did. It was a huge um, positive experience for me. I really enjoyed it. Got to try some amazing food and see some incredible architecture, talk to the locals, a lot of fun. Once again, try it if you can. Schedule your next vacation. You're welcome, Mexico. You can sponsor me anytime. All right, so let's keep long jumping in the sand here. I don't really know what the point of this 
fire flower power up is besides just giving me candies because you can get by here apparently I'm just gonna top of you words to live by make sure you ask first okay it's all about consent here we go like oh you can't do that you can't backflip in the sand what a weird situation who would have thought okay we got the common metal Take the pointer off the screen maybe this would be a cool thumbnail because i haven't thought of one yet yeah that's cool oop sturbits i'm missing them all i probably put the put it back oh yeah this is neat Look at them, they're so happy. They're like, I'm gonna crush you and it's gonna be good. Happy to do so, Mario. Happy to crush you. They're just so happy. And Mario seems like he's vibing too. He doesn't know what he's getting into. He just kind of sees them rolling past him. He's like, all right, life is good. They went really well i would say okay lots of star bits that i'm not paying any attention to we got them all that's a uh pro strat Ooh. that stream really cuts out near the end is there anything over here worth mentioning no well there might be a boss here i would assume maybe this will cure my woes of uh Thumbnailage. It does. Great boss fight. Here we go. Squizzard. Ooh, look at this guy. He looks nasty. And the free Firefly. We're going to need this. Try to stand on the dedicated rocky platforms. I don't think you can attack him and... until he opens his dumb mouth. There you go. Throw some fireballs in his mouth. Get your balls right in his mouth. Yeah. You're going to want to obviously replenish your power up. It's gonna just keep swirling around the base there. So just keep it moving. And then, uh, yeah, once he opens his big dumb mouth, fire away. Although I missed. I'd like him to continue to throw stuff. I think the golden little urchin things give you, um. I think those give you coins, so. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We're in trouble. Here we go. Yeah, you just gotta keep tabs on the, um,. Keep tabs on the little pomegranate things, the, the durians. He seems pretty generous though with the uh, with the the health in this one, so it shouldn't hopefully be too bad for you. Just when you string them together. Oh, <laughs> he's like, I'm trying to eat, trying to hold my lunch. All right, I'm not entirely sure what these things are that he's throwing at. Oh, I feel like I'm not, I'm like not completing the cycle, which could be a problem. I do like that the music speeds up when you are running low on, uh, on fire. That's a good indicator. But you got to find yourself a good, nice, sturdy spot to be on. So that way when he opens his mouth, you don't have to back away. That should be good. You got to keep shaking your weight. Is that it? Is he dead? No. Uh oh. Things are getting spot. Oh, he's got cannons. Was not expecting that. What is? He? Oh, they shoot out too. So he can kind of barf them out, and then oh, we can throw huge bombs. That's not cool. Oh, and the time you've got to hit him is very short. Oh boy kind of chaotic yeah that doesn't give you a ton of time that's very uh you gotta really really be ready i would like to power up though okay yeah i think grabbing the power up even if you don't necessarily need it in the moment is probably a pro move so that we don't have to do you don't run out in between attacks yeah, this is tough. This next form. Really getting me good. Good to have you. I think it's like right after here. Yeah. Come on, boy. I like the... We're giving him a little bit of indigestion. 
could use uh, some Tums or something. Man, Tums are a wonderful thing. I never realized how uh, valuable those are until I got older and my body's like, mmm, we are shutting down. Oof. Alright, we gotta be careful here. We are running low on health. It'd be nice if the power up would replenish your health, but uh, sadly it is not. Oh, no, we're dead. No, we're not dead. Oh, kind of landed on me. That was close. What a tricky boss fight. Definitely a ton of fun. I'm having the time of my life right now. Alright, grab the fire flower. Grab the coin. Alright, we'll just wait for the next cycle, just to be safe. Yeah, I'd love to know the speedrunning strat for this one. Alright, this should be good. I think we got him. Oh, no! Get in there! Ugh, I would have had him. I get hit with the balls. He put his balls right in my face. Okay, here we go. Back at it. You just need to make sure that when he gets the bombs out, that uh, you're ready to roll. Is he not gonna do it? Okay. Need to find a power up here shortly. Come on. I'm not entirely sure what cycle I'm on. What is happening? There we go. All right. So we gotta throw the fireballs his way. Hopefully this is enough. Oh, I did it. That's a great face. Just explodes into the sand. Uh, nothing like some sandy murder. That was a gritty battle. Oof, I am glad to be done with it. But that is the fourth star for today. Pretty incredible. That is it for the day. Another Comet Medal, of course. More star bits? You betcha. A lot of coins that I don't really know what to do with. And we'll do the Prankster Comet for that one probably next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Super Mario Galaxy 2, and I'll see you later. Bye! Yeah.